Okay, guys, we're back with The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap, Part 4. Yes, I'm pretty sure Part 4. Last we left off, we were in the middle of Deepwood Shrine, about to enter a new area. So let's head on in. So you know what you're going to do, there is a heart in one of these. I don't remember which one. Ah, yes, that one. So get that if you need it. So you're going to want to come up here, go into this store. Four of those guys you can't kill are about to pop up. Just ignore them. Like I'm not doing. Yes, you can click that to open that. But we're not going to want to do that right now. We're actually going to want to go up here to this locked door. Open it up. Now we have a boss fight. I don't know 100% what this is called. What you're going to want to do is whack his nose and then whack his tail. He's not too hard. He can't. What he reminds me of is a blue wiggla from Mario. No, oh, no, it's just me. I'm gonna want to hit his nose again. You're just gonna keep doing this for a while. I don't know how long, it, how many um, hits it takes. Off by heart, but um, I think it'll take about three shots to the nose if I do this correctly. You gotta wait for the right time. Yes, there we go. And you're gonna want to stand right here, and the chest appears. A very useful chest too. You got the gust jar. Well, blah blah blah. I already know. So what you're actually gonna want to do is um, suck this. like that and now we get this piece of heart that we seen earlier by the end of this dungeon we will have five heart containers because there's another piece of heart that I'm about to get soon well maybe later actually in quite a while actually my bad so there's an uncovered button that we just got there and it puts a portal right there because there's a piece of heart. Now to kill these guys, you're just going to suck them a lot. And then there we go. Or you can also get a pot and just kind of shoot it at them. <coughs> I'm not sure if you can actually lift a pot and throw it at them to kill them. You know, I'm going to try that actually. Let me just see here. Not sure. If you can, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, you can. Yep, you can kill them without this gust jar. There we go. And just you just can uncover all of this for secrets, but I already know where the two only ones are. There's two of these right here. <coughs> With they both have ten mysterious shells. You're gonna need those later to get a piece of heart, actually. If I remember correctly. So you're gonna wanna come down here. <coughs> then we're back here. But what we're going to do now is try to suck this up and not fail horribly. <coughs> I don't know what's going on. There we go. I was screwing up there for a second. I was like, what's going on? I'm scared. Help! <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. I've had the flu for a while now. 
Unless we find a way to travel by water, we won't go much farther. <laughs> way ahead of you. So what you're gonna want to do is just do this. Oh, these guys. You can kill them if you want. Because it will become a pain later on. Don't go, um, don't go up and then left. You're gonna want to go right, right here. And not fail horribly. God. What you doing, Marcos? Jeez. <clears throat> I don't want to kill this guy. I mean, you don't have to, but highly recommended. Because it helps you. If you try to keep on going, you won't make it too far. Because, um, well, as you can see right now, <coughs> there's things blocking it. Ooh, that's going to be well needed. You're just going to push this over. <coughs> then it takes them down. So, we could have accessed this room before, but it wouldn't, do, wouldn't, it wouldn't have done much good but get the compass, so I thought I'd just get it then. Saves time. You need to actually use this as a bridge and not fail. Just push this over. you got a small key. And now the way where we would have went up left, we can open the door that was locked. Just avoid those guys. They're pretty easy to avoid. There we go. This room isn't too hard. What you're gonna do is just pull this back. You're actually just gonna gonna wanna use the gust jar to hook onto this one. You do it again. Do it once more, and then you got the big key. As you can see, this is a red portal. This is how you get out. As you see, we are back at the beginning. Um, we're going to have to suck these off to get to the next room downstairs. As you can see, there's that blue portal that will take us to the other blue portal. So we're actually going to use this quickly to get this piece of heart. There we go. Now we now we will have four hearts to battle the boss. So you're going to want to come down here first. As you can see, there's the boss door. But... You got 20 rupees, which we are going to need a lot of rupees. I'll probably do some grinding off screen later. <clears throat> or maybe that's upstairs. I'm not sure. It is upstairs, I believe. You're going to want to do this. To get to the boss door. Yes, I believe I, I believe I should have enough time to defeat this. Hmm? What's going on? Green raindrops? Odd. Very odd. 
Whoa! So what you're gonna want to do to defeat this boss is just suck out his bottom. With the gust jar. You can push him away, so he won't hurt you. And then this is what happens. So you're just gonna slash at him as much as you want. I mean, as much as you can, if you wanna defeat him. There we go. I think it'll do about, I think we'll need to do about four or five times. Nah, probably about three or four. I'm guessing about four. There we go. And get that. We might kill him now, but I highly doubt it. It'll probably have to be about one more time. One or two. Probably two. No, just one. As you can see, he's blowing up. Sorry about the audio, guys. I'm not even actually hearing the audio. So, I'll try and fix that. Hopefully, I'll be able to. Da -na 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 -na. You got the earth element. Yeah. You got the earth element. Blah, blah, blah. The power of earth is in the source of all living things. The earth element is the em <coughs> embodiment of, all of that power. We're gonna get this. You got a heart container. Your life energy has increased. As you can see, we have five now, which is very good. Ah, oh, we've got the earth element. We should go see Elder at once. There we go. You don't even need to talk to that guy. I wonder if I can make it without having to cut the video. <clears throat> so, you found the earth element. You are blessed with much courage and strength for so one so young. If your conviction holds strong, head to Mount Cornell. There, there you will find a man named Malari. Among all the Minish, there is no one more able to repair your sword. If you ask him, I am certain he will reforge your broken Pecori blade. I shall send word to him in advance. Travel safely. You are brave, but there are many evils now in the world. So he's actually going to open, go open that curtain up. Leave through this door here. It will take you out of the forest quickly. <coughs> Great Elder, we are in your debt. We shall head for Mount Cornell at once. So what we're going to do is go over here. You can see a portal, but before you do that, you're going to want to come in here. Green clothes, mystical hat. Sir, would you by chance be Link, the one who found the Earth Element? Surely you are. I have heard so many tales about how I just got it like five seconds ago. That's so weird. I am Bellari, researcher and of acquaintances. I am also, well, a bit of an inventor. You know, you won't be able to get back to town to do all the breeze. Here, I have something that might come in handy. You got a bomb bag. It holds bombs in it. Sweet. So I'm actually going to end it here, guys. Leave a like, comment, comment as much as you want. Leave a like, favorite, all that jazz. This is Flame over and out.